Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. There is so much to unpack here. Sad, disturbing, and enraging all at the same damn time. Former Louisiana deputy in Feliciana Parish, 46-year-old Dennis Parker is getting 100 years in prison. This is after he not only sexually assaulted and videotaped children, Parker, a deputy, also ejaculated on cupcakes that were taken to school and fed to students by his 37-year-old ex-wife, Cynthia Parker. She's a middle school teacher. Investigative reporter Chris Nakamoto from WBRZ in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, first broke this story and shared it with us here on The Factor 10 months ago. He joins us again with the update. So we know um, Deputy Dennis Perkins has now been sentenced. Tell us, first of all, before the sentencing, remind us of what he did and how disgusting he and his wife were. What he did was absolutely deplorable. He was a deputy with the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office who was raping children. He was downloading child pornography. His wife was a school teacher. He was ejaculating on pastries. She was serving them to her class. I mean, just type of things that you just wouldn't even imagine a human being could possibly do. Do we know, and I mean, other than just being sick, what their mo why did they do this? Did they say why? Did they apologize? Did, did Dennis say, give us any reasoning why he would do such heinous crimes? In court, he did address the victims when he pled guilty, and he did apologize and said that it was a very short statement, basically said, I've found forgiveness through Jesus Christ, and I hope other people can too. So he didn't really give any sort of reason as to why he did what he did, just such a very sick and twisted individual. He was charged with 78 different counts by the Louisiana Attorney General's office, and as part of this plea agreement, he only had to plead guilty to about seven of those. But those seven charges that he did plead guilty to will have him serving prison time for the rest of his life. And we're talking about a 100-year sentence, right? That's right. And so how are the victims and their families reacting to all of this? The victims and their families, obviously, they had to agree to this plea agreement by the Louisiana Attorney General's office that was awarded to Dennis Perkins. You have to face it, this saved them from a lengthy trial that probably would have gone on for two weeks. It saved them a lot of pain by having to go into the courtroom and see all of this video evidence. Of course, there was videos, there were pictures, all sorts of things that he had done. He had documented everything he did, which is how he was basically indicted and now convicted. Um, and so this saved them from having to go through all of that pain and having to relive all of that again. It's honestly the most noble thing that he's done um, throughout this mess that has been exposed as to everything that he has uh, done and is now convicted of. Incredible. Now, what about his uh, wife or ex-wife? I'm not sure what their status is now. Cynthia, who was the uh, teacher. So it, it is his ex-wife now. Um, she filed for divorce while she was in prison, basically claiming coercion, that he coerced her into doing a lot of the things. She's also in prison, but possibly will have a shot at getting out at some point in her life. Um, she'll probably serve between 40 and 50 years. And if she does make it that long, she would be very old when she winds up getting out of prison, probably in her 80s or 90s. But the whole reasoning why um, they had filed for divorce, so she was going to testify against him at the trial that was supposed to begin. But now that he, you know, went ahead and pled guilty, there was obviously no need for a trial. So her witness testimony was not needed. But the L Louisiana Attorney General's office had her in their back pocket if in case he had changed his mind and they needed to proceed with a trial that was part of her plea agreement that she was going to testify against him. And if she didn't, then her plea agreement could have been undone and revoked as well. So this divorce was all to benefit her and her plea agreement so she wouldn't spend more significant time locked behind bars. Most likely. And obviously she was claiming coercion and things like that. But as part of her divorce, she filed for divorce pretty early on after the arrest. Um, she wound up essentially saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to cooperate. I'm going to testify against them. And I believe that's probably why the AG's office went a little bit more lenient on her. But she was very much a party to all of this. I mean, she was also molesting children in a bathtub from what the evidence uh we're being told by our sources indicated. She also took those sweets 
that her husband had ejaculated on and serve them to her class. So she certainly, you know, there's a lot of outrage in the community as well that she even was offered a plea deal um, of any kind that would possibly allow her to see the light of day. Um, but again, back to Dennis Perkins, he'll, he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Um, this case brings up just so many questions and really revelations that parents have to teach their kids. You know, you teach them to trust teachers and cops. And now what we're seeing in Louisiana with a teacher and a cop both going to prison for heinous crimes, it just shows you you can't always trust the people that you teach your kids to trust. And has the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Department issued any statements, said anything in reference to uh, Dennis being a deputy there for so many years and not knowing, you know, all of this going on right under their noses? Initially, when this all came to light, they held a news conference that really didn't go well for the sheriff because um, instead of just basically distancing himself from this deputy, he called him a friend and a family member. And so the public wow. was outraged by that, you know, that you have a sheriff now calling this deputy a friend and a family member who was accused of the most outrageous crimes. And after his conviction, they didn't really say much.